don't lose fire for God. That's the phrase that I heard from people, from believers, like two years ago when I first started to believe. And what I thought to myself is I was like, that's impossible. Like, I'm just gonna keep feeling this way. And maybe that's where I went wrong is that I depended upon the fact that I was feeling something new that I was believing, and I still do. Obviously love Jesus, um, if I don't make that clear. I want to make that clear, but yeah, it just felt amazing. And I just couldn't imagine that people were once on fire and then they lost that fire, even though they're still believers. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, keep believing, uh, keep trying to be perfect, this, this, and that. Um, now here I am in a season of my life where I've been focusing on faith a lot and more than just faith in Jesus, but faith in the fact that God answers prayers. And I've been seeing him do that like time after time again. Like there's like, there's no question. He's an he answers, he's amazing, and he goes above and beyond. But there's ju that's just one like portion of believing. That's just one portion of having Jesus as my Lord is that there's other things that at least I feel need to be tended to, like previously mentioned before, I feel like I've kind of lost the fire. I'm seeing other people, new believers that have the fire and it inspires me. But sometimes I'm like, what am I doing on my walk with him? And I don't know, maybe you feel the same way. Maybe we strayed away, maybe, who knows? And it's not that I don't seek God every day because I seek to pray to him every day. But I think that there's a certain point where prayer becomes more of a routine and more of like a robotic movement than what it should be, which is actually connecting with him. Not just, oh, thank you. And like just the thanks because it's part of the routine and, and it almost becomes like a superstition. Well, let me just pray so today goes well. That's good. Like. I still know that the benefits of prayer will happen if if that's what I'm stuck in, like that sort of routine. But there's so much more to it. Like I need to connect with him. I need to feel his presence or at least quiet my mind so I can actually be in his presence because I know he's always with us. And again, maybe you feel this way too. I'm just trying to be real, just trying to be honest. and. Hopefully this video, like all the times that I mentioned in all my other videos, I hope that this does something for you. Me even just venting about where I am in this season of my life, maybe it might inspire you. Maybe the Holy Spirit might be speaking to you through this video. It feels a little bit dry this season in terms of prayer, in terms of my fervor for Jesus and like trying to speak to other people about Jesus. Maybe I feel a little bit quiet when it comes to other people in my life that I could be talking about Jesus with, but I don't because I felt more brave to do that back when I first believed, like I didn't care. I want to tell people about him because of the amazingness of him and the fact that I want other people to be saved too, right? Maybe you feel that, that way too. Um, so I don't know what's next or what's to come, but I know that God brings me through seasons. Maybe there's things that I have to learn, definitely. He brings me through seasons and I know it'll be a brighter season where I do feel refreshed. Even though this season, don't get me wrong, is absolutely amazing. Like he's doing so many things for me. I just need to figure out and get the What's the right word for this? Get the willingness to do his will. I hope that uh, the things that I do naturally every day is somehow accomplishing his will. That's most. That's my prayers. But um, I'm just seeing a lot of people out there who are on fire for God and I love it. And I just wanna be on fire for him again, have that willingness to be on fire in that way and just to be bold and go out there and say, hey, I think you need Jesus. He'll help you. Um, whereas now it seems like I'm more quiet about it, but I have faith that he's going to give me that boldness. I have faith that I'm going to be bold in all areas of my life. Um, and I have faith that if you 
agree that you're in this similar season that he'll give you the boldness as well. I have faith that we're going to make it out of this season even better than we have been. Even though it looks crazy, even though things aren't making sense, how are we on our path to Christ or on this Christian walk? Like, how are we doing on this walk? Maybe it's all working together for good. And we know that because I believe in Romans, it says all things work together for the good of those who are who love Christ Jesus or who are in Christ Jesus. Don't quote me on that. I paraphrase that, but you can look it up and, and you'll find that uh, verse. So, yeah. God bless you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Comment on this video. Let me know if you're feeling the same way. Let me know where you're at in your walk. Maybe you have words of wisdom. Maybe you have inspirational fire words from the Holy Spirit. Post that below in the comments. I'm glad to be back making videos more consistently. So if you like these videos, click the like button below. Let me know that somebody out there likes these videos. If you're constantly watching these videos and you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. I would appreciate that. It lets me know that this community is growing and that these videos are helping people and you guys actually like it. And uh, yeah. So that's it. God bless you in Jesus' mighty, powerful name, and I will see you in the next video.